Okay guys, here's a little video of the driveline lockup clutch. It's around $200 plus dollars. Seems to be very simple to install. Comes with complete instructions and all you need. Enjoy the little video. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let me get this camera on here. Alright. I didn't get to film this as we was putting it or as I was putting it together, but I'm kind of going to go over it. It's pretty simple. This is the lockup clutch install for the Banshee. It ain't really hard. Matter of fact, it ain't hard at all. You pull these out, this pressure plate comes off, just like that. This will come off and it comes with six new screws and six little washers. So if you've taken a clutch out of a Banshee before, this is rather simple. There's another paper here. Let me get it. I ain't gonna be able to write it today because I ain't got no antifreeze to go back in it. But I can tell you this is probably gonna fix this slipping. So it comes with ball bearings. You have to flip the fuller up on its side, which is what that stool's for. And I wind up putting 36 in this because his instructions say a banshee with aftermarket cylinders, pipes, big carbs, four mil crank, dune rider, drag racing, two balls in the small grooves for a total of 36. You can go heavier, but uh, I don't really feel that this fooler needs it. Plus, I don't want to give it too much of a clutch slam. So, here's kind of the instructions. You just pull the factory pressure plate off, which is right here. Just take that off. It ain't no big deal. Slip the new one on, which is this black piece here. Put the washers in it. You'll see them little washers right there. Flip it up on its side. Make sure it's seated. Put the plate in and put five bolts in. It's rather simple and you adjust your clutch and when it's all in, it will work just like a factory one. Here are the ball bearings moving. Only thing I haven't done at the moment is grind the case down. So this is a drive line um, lockup. So what we're gonna do next is grind these three pits down in here. And that allows it to clear everything. I may have to buy me another uh, I'm gonna try to save this one. I doubt it's gonna work, but it may. Yeah, I think it will. Check that out. May not have to buy another one if I can get this off without ripping it. Yeah, looky there. Good deal. So now I got to take a Dremel. You got to Dremel these down, and uh, that'll keep it from touching anything in there. So basically, you can pull the other side off, or just Dremel these down until they touch the bolts on the other side. See them bolts? That's all there is to it. Clean that out real good and reinstall it. And uh, getting a lot of comments saying I need to do a little more videos working on the Banshee. Well, I should have filmed this putting it together, but it always winds up being a little more aggravating to put one together. There's, the, putting a clutch in one's not aggravating. Getting this stupid nut right here adjusted is what's aggravating. That is aggravating as crap. And it looks like we've got it so it's not that big of a deal once you figure out how to do it the easiest way to adjust that nut when you put this on is have your wife or whoever go over here to the other side your buddy whatever push in on the clutch arm all the way in far as they can push it and hold it you'll come back to this side and you'll break this nut loose take an allen head Stick it in it, and you'll turn this, holding the nut, until that person over there feels resistance. And then push it a little more until 
these two arms line up together on the clutch in the case. They need to be like this. So like this. Not like this, not like this, like this. Then tighten the jam nut back down. Okay, so once you get that adjusted on the other side to where the two markers for the clutch and the case are lining up, you just jam this nut down. This should be freely moving a little bit. If you wind up putting your new clutch in and there's no resistance on that clutch lever, you need to readjust this. And this happened to me, and I didn't take the ball or the rod out. It's not that big of a deal, so don't panic. Okay. Tighten these bolts down tight as you can get them. These instructions are self-explanatory. I'm not going to go over all these instructions because if you order drive lines clutch, they come with it. So, the next step you have to do is pull these bolts out. These actual screws. I need to be a new clutch cover. Let's be honest with you. Once you get this out, let's just do this. All right, it's in there pretty good. It's been so long since I took that off. Got it's got a seal. Huh. Anyway, so now, here you go. I'll read this side. The side cover modification. You must remove the three screws that hold the outer plastic cover on. Then drill a small pilot hole using a drill bit that is half the size of the existing hole, which means half the size of that. Now, what you want to do is do that, run it through with a drill bit, flip it over, and then you'll look like this picture. It's hard to see, but there'll be three holes there, there, and there in these little tits. That's a pilot for another drill bit. Take the drill bit that is half the size of the diameter, that would be the minimum size to use. Align the tip of the drill bit in the pilot hole that you made in step one, which is this. Drill it down until, I get something wipe my hands off, I'm getting it all over the instructions. Now this drills rather quickly, and I may do this so you can see it. Cuts through aluminum, you'll drill it down until it looks flush like this. Trim down to the flush with the crisscross pattern. Okay. Let me get this set up and we'll do it. Okay, I done got one of the holes drilled, so here's how easy it goes through. Remember, this drill bit needs to be half the size of this hole. So therefore, it needs to wobble. Watch how fast. That's it. See how they come right out in the middle? Got one more. Just take your time. That's all there is to it. Now you're going to have to go get some brake parts cleaner, blah, 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 to clean this clutch cover up. I don't know what size this is. It don't say. Just a random drill bit. Now, I'm just going by these instructions to kind of help you all out and make a pretty good video here. You want to trim the three holes, three ball snubs down to the same level as a crisscross pattern on the floor of the side cover or trim down until you make contact with the screw that is holding the outside plastic cover plate, whichever happens first. So, pick you a good, remember that's just a pilot hole. That's all that is. That's a dull drill bit right there, because that's aluminum. Let's see what this one does. Oh. 
Alright, now Dremel. Dremel will probably work better. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put one of these screws back in. So I can see I ain't going too far. You got to remember, that's about as far as it's going to go because that's tight. So put your screw back in. Then, go over here and do that. Alright, so we need a bigger... We need to try to put this one back in. See what it'll do. And it ain't big enough. So, we want to find another drill bit. Okay, so... I went ahead and put these back in. That way you'll know how far you can go. Well, I was wrong earlier in the video, but... I went and borrowed this from my dad. We're going to see how good it'll do. Just need to grind them down flush. Alright. So we may need some uh, safety glasses on. I didn't figure it'd be like that. but Let me see if I can find some real quick. Maybe go out here and yank some out of my mower if I got them here. The old cub cadet there. Well, I'll be dying. I don't. Might just have to do without, guys. I don't see any, so I may go over here and look in the toolbox real quick. Huh. Could have swore I had some safety glasses laying here somewhere. Guess not. All right, let's try it without them, man. That's what you want. Grind it down flush. Do all three of them and that's it. I ain't going to bore you with doing the other two. You see what I got there. You can kind of keep them doing that, but that's not going to hurt a thing. Just run that side down there some more. Clean this thing out real good with some carburetor cleaner. Good to roll. The instruction says to grind it down to the waffle. I took a little more out just for precaution. That's not going to hurt a thing. And that's about what you got. You ready to reinstall.